Tom Cruise is flying high, not just in his movies, but with his skincare routine too. The action star has reportedly been using a facial treatment containing nightingale excrement to keep himself looking young and fresh. That's right, bird poop on his face. Apparently, the concoction mixed with rice bran and water works wonders. It's great to see that Tom is committed to avoiding plastic surgery and instead has found his way to embrace his inner bird. Maybe he'll start chirping in his next movie. If you ever wanted to look like a cast member from Jersey Shore, Snooky has got you covered. One of her secrets, cat litter. That's right, Snooky uses cat litter as a way to exfoliate her skin. When asked about it on The Conan Show, Snooky said she doesn't like spending a lot of money on expensive spa treatments and is self-proclaimed cheapo. But don't worry, she googled it, so it must be safe, right? Just make sure to get clean litter, or you might end up smelling like a litter box. Pop star Keisha once drank her own urine for health reasons. When someone tried to take it away, she said, That is mine! And chug it. But apparently, that's not the weirdest thing she's done. She claims to have drunk human blood on stage and even made a bra top headdress of jewelry made out of human teeth sent to her by her fans. Now, that's just fucking weird. Keisha never fails to shock in all her audience, though, as long as they still have their teeth. Elon Musk might be a billionaire genius, but it seems his beverage preferences are a bit, well, pedestrian. In a 2007 interview, the SpaceX and Tesla CEO stated he drinks eight cans of Diet Coke and up to two cups of coffee every day. That's enough caffeine to power a small village. But I guess when you're trying to launch rockets and electric cars into space, you need all the energy you can get. Just be careful, Elon. You don't want to shake things up too much, or you might end up sending your Tesla into orbit. Sandra Bullock is 57, but looks like she just walked off the set of Miss Congeniality. What's her secret? Apparently, it's Preparation H. Yeah, you heard that right. Hemorrhoid cream on the face can help reduce wrinkles. And at just $7 a tube, it's a steal compared to all those other fancy beauty products. So next time you see someone with a youthful glow, just remember, it might have a secret stash of butt cream in the makeup bag. Are you tired of boring diets that only allow you to eat green vegetables? Well, say hello to the purple diet. Mariah Carey just eats purple foods like potatoes, carrots, and cauliflower. It's the latest craze among celebrities. She claims it helped her shed her baby weight. Plus, purple foods are full of antioxidants that fight aging and disease, so you'll be glowing inside and out. But as one nutritionist pointed out, it's important to eat a rainbow of colors for a balanced diet. Just don't stick to purple though, or you might turn into a grape. If you're looking for Simon Cowell, don't bother scouring the local coffee shops or the gym. Simon has a weird hobby of climbing trees daily, almost like it's a ritual. In fact, if he's not in his office, you can bet your bottom dollar that he's up a tree somewhere. His staff even designated a treehouse for him. So, if you see a man in a suit perched on a branch, it's probably Simon Cowell. Who knew the man loved to reach new heights? Well, I guess you could say Demi Moore really knows how to suck the life out of aging. While some people will swear by green smoothies and daily exercise, Demi Moore prefers a more unique approach. Leech therapy. But hey, whatever keeps her looking like a Hollywood vampire works for us. Just don't be surprised if you start seeing leeches on the shelves of your local CVS anytime soon. Johnny Depp, the swashbuckling pirate himself, has a secret passion for playing with dolls. Yep, it's true. But before you start judging, it all started when he started playing with Barbies with his daughter, Lily. He gave each of them different voices to match their personality. When Lily grew up and asked him to stop with the voices, he finally had to pack away his beloved dolls. Well, I guess even the coolest dads have to face the reality of growing up. Oh boy, looks like Megan Fox really gives a crap about 
not giving a crap. Apparently, she has some serious aversion to flushing toilets and just leaves her business behind for the next unlucky soul to discover. <laughs> Talk about a crappy attitude. I mean, I understand wanting to save water, but this is taking things a little too far. Let's just hope she doesn't start a trend because I don't think any of us are ready for a no flush movement. Yikes. Did you hear about Jessica Simpson's brushing habits? Apparently, she only brushes them a few times a week. She says her teeth are so white, she doesn't want them to feel so slippery. Instead, she uses her shirt to scrub them clean. Ew. But hey, she swears she always has fresh breath, so that's good, right? So let this be a lesson to us all. Brush your teeth, people. Don't be like Jessica. Angelina Jolie is making waves in the food industry by introducing people to the joys of eating bugs. Apparently, they can eat a bag of crickets just like a bag of chips. While some may find this disgusting, scientists have been advocating for bug consumption for years due to their high protein and nutrient content. Plus, bug farms are much more efficient than traditional livestock farms. So if you're feeling adventurous, go ahead and try some insect flower products like cricket chips or protein bars. Just make sure to buy them from a reliable source and not from your backyard. Hold on to your stomachs, folks, because the latest skincare trend is using placenta. That's right, the organ that connects to a developing fetus to the womb. Yeah, gross. But apparently, placenta is a miracle ingredient in skincare because it's loaded with nutrients. And if you can get past the gross factor, it can reduce wrinkles, fine lines, and even out skin tone. Even celebrities like Victoria Beckham and Madonna are getting in on the placenta facial action. But seriously, would you really want to rub a placenta on your face? I'd rather stick to good old-fashioned moisturizer. Thank you very much.